Shalom and Namaste everyone. Today we're going to talk about that stupid comment by Nadav Lapid. For those of you who doesn't know who Nadav Lapid is, just like I didn't know who that was, um, he's a filmmaker. Yes, again, another person who works in the media trying to get attention and saying something radical enough to get people to know who he is. Good job, Nadav, you finally made it. Some people actually know who you are. Let's talk about the ridiculous thing he said. So, Nadav Lapid uh, criticized the Kashmir file, the movie Kashmir file. Now, let me be perfectly clear, I also made several videos about that um, film. I also have my own critique about that film, but I never said this is not important. I think this is amazing, amazing film for the audience of Baharat and not for the outsiders and they need to do something a little bit different for us. However, it's still a very important film. Not because it's just like a movie, because again, we're talking about a film director. He's not really known uh, by making documentaries and this video from what I learned about the Kashmir Files, um, the person who created it worked a lot with people who are survivors of Kashmir. This is why it drives me like I didn't want to talk about this. I was just like said I was in my mind it was just a stupid person said stupid thing. I'm sure everyone will realize how stupid he is and just leave it alone. But I guess not. I guess we actually need to talk about it. People ask me what is my opinion about what Nadav said. If you really want to know my opinion, you can see it in the several videos I made about the Kashmir files and the videos I made about talking about the actual problem of Kashmir. Now I'm always saying I am not trying to um, say something pro or against or whatever because I don't live there. Just like how I'm always telling you guys, you don't live here, you don't know the Israeli-Palestinian Israeli conflict like for real. So I'm always trying to, you know, say what I think but all the time say, okay, but this is yours. Uh, this is your situation. I don't know the reality, but the Kashmir files actually try to make a half video half documentary and This is something really important and this is something a person like Nadav Doesn't know how to do. I think that what bothers me the most about this entire thing is not his comment actually I mean, he's a stupid person saying something stupid to try to get people to know who he is he works in the media. I expect absolutely nothing from him. What bothers me is how the people of Baharat took it and how you immediately think this is what all Israeli people think. Now, is our countries not working together? Are your students and my students not working together, not flying to study at each other's universities? What is going on? Do you actually believe that one remark changed everything? The people of Israel, the civilians, this is why I'm always saying that our relationship is so much different. This is not a geopolitical relationship because the citizens, the civilians were friends way before our governments were friends. And every time you guys are asking me where do I want to go, the first place I'm telling you is Kashmir. Why? Because this sounds really, really close to home. All the dramatic craziness, things that are happening there, all the, the way that Hindus are being treated there. I'm sorry, but it feels so, so close to home. And this is why I want to go there. I think I'm always saying it's going to ease my way into, into India because I will be in a place who is in India territory because it is India. And then I will slowly, slowly get more and more, you know, closer to your culture and stuff. But the beginning, the terrible terror, the terrible being scared because of your religion, all of that, this is something I experience here. And this is why I support um, the Kashmir, the, um, how do you call it? Like the Hindus, the survivors of Kashmir. This is why, because I feel like I can relate to those people so much more. You guys are asking me what do I think about his comment all the time and I'm getting so many messages and stuff and it's kind of shocking for me because I feel like I'm doing this from this channel is from 2017. You know what my opinion is 
about India. From 2017, this channel is still running. That means I kind of like your country. I'm not sure if you noticed. Um, and this is something that is really important for me to clarify. That one stupid remark does not supposed to change anything other than you knowing that like, I'm sorry, you always like people tell me, oh, all the Jewish people are smart. Like, no, it's not. This is a, a great way. You know what? This is an amazing um, thing to um, change a stereotype about us. Not all the Israelis, not all the Jewish people are smart. Please, please, please don't listen to him. Please realize that our relationship is so much stronger and has so many, like so much meaningful than that idiot. Don't let that one person destroy what we all, what you guys, if you are watching this video, if you came back to my channel several times, you know what we think, you know how we try to create a community with both of us. Please don't let that idiot destroy it. And please just like ignore him. Just like how I'm ignoring stupid comments and stupid death threats I'm getting from people who live in India and do not agree with this relationship. I wanna be perfectly clear. The people who support what Nadav said are the same people who do not support Israel and the same people who are not support every country that is trying to survive. Those are not the people we need to acknowledge. Those are the people that we just need to let them talk, roll our eyes, and move on. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you'll be back here for the next one and we can actually start a community and talk among each other and not let terrible people destroy our relationship. Take care, everyone.